folks, these people are disgusting. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. This is probably going to be the start of many videos about real life topics because you know what? I've, I've recently had an epiphany. S talking about shit like video games and cartoons, it's all well and fun, but aside from the last airbender, the, the wild grinders, why cartoons suck, and the Tomb Raider rant, I was, legi I was legitimately angry during those, and I was very, I, I, had, I felt like there was actually stuff to get angry about in those videos. And the more I think about it, the more I realize, unless something really, really shocking does happen in a, in a video game or a cartoon or just anything along with that I enjoy, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm moving on, growing up, so to speak. Because stuff like this, the um, article I posted in the description, stuff like that deserves more attention. Stuff like that deserves to be talked about more often. And, well, my name is the Raffle Lion on YouTube. And if anyone, and if anyone or anything deserves more wrath than this, deserve more wrath, it was, it was this. So just a little warning, there's going to be a lot of yelling in this, so turn down your speakers, and there's going to be a lot of swearing. So if you have a problem with that, I recommend you shut this video off at once, because this, this does contain pure rage. It's, it's really all I can do to scream right now. What? Let's start off with this. These people are disgusting. These people are sick. They do not deserve to be parents. There are so many people who who cannot have kids and they have and they make great parents. But these two these two fucking idiots don't deserve children. These fucktards and their and their utter devotion to their religion has resulted in the death of not one of their children, but two. Because they believe that taking their children to a doctor goes against the will of God. Which leads me to this outburst. What in the fuck is wrong with you? Why? Why would you ever put your religious beliefs over the welfare of your child? When you are a parent, the welfare and the safety of your children comes first. Every time. When your child is suffering, when your child is sick, you don't sit down, put your thumb up your ass, and pray for them. You take them to a fucking doctor to see what's wrong with them so they can get treatment. I'm sorry, but if your religious beliefs state that it is wrong to put a ch to put a doctor before God, and that you should always ask God for help instead of a fucking doctor whose job it is to fix stuff like this, then you don't deserve to have children. You don't. You can you can get offended by that all you want, but you don't deserve to have fucking children. I don't give a shit what your religious beliefs are in that regard, and frankly, I don't respect them either. This is 2013. This is not the fucking dark ages anymore. This this doesn't this isn't just some isolated incident. No, no, no. This is only the most popular story of faith healing at the moment. Shit like this happens 
all the fucking time. This is just the most popular one. Shit like this is, is just a symptom of the disease known as stupidity and religious zealotry. And it has no place in the world today. None. Fucking none. Shit like this really does piss me off. It, this is the stuff that makes my blood pressure go up. This is the stuff that makes me want to just... <sighs> stuff like this should not exist. Stuff like this should not still happen nowadays. And I swear, every single time that I see something that I claim is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life, is quickly replaced the next day by some shit like this. Another monument to insanity being built up right in front of me. To anyone defending these people who feel bad that their children are being taken away from them, just shut up. And to you two who have just recently lost your kids to foster care, I don't feel bad for you in the slightest. I feel bad for your children that they're being taken away from their parents. But for you two in particular, no. You don't deserve to have children. I could... Excuse me. I can only imagine what, what else you would do with your other children if any of them got sick. One of them gets cancer? Oh, I know exactly what you'll do. Take them to a doctor? No, 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 no. That's going to be against God. You know, it's just, that's going to get God. No, you know what you'll do? You'll just sit and you'll pray. And, and in about nine months, they'll be dead. I'm, I'm very sorry that... No, f fuck it. I'm not sorry this time. I don't care if I offend anyone in this video. Because you know what? Sometimes people need to be offended. Sometimes you have to be politically incorrect to get the point across when someone is a fucking stupid idiot. Especially a parent. Especially someone who is supposed to put the welfare of their child above their religious beliefs. Sometimes you just have to say, fuck it, and just... Just wrathful. Call it out like it is. You just see stuff like this, and you call it out. You, you let people know, this is stupid. And it needs to be called out so stuff like this does not happen again. I still can't believe we live in a world where stuff like this happens. I still can't believe that we have dark, dark age level thinking in this year in, in our society that is supposed to be based on knowledge, that is supposed to be based on science. We still live in a world where these morons exist and where these fucking idiots can have children. I'm sorry, but if you honestly believe that if you honestly believe that going to a doctor goes against God, and you don't do it because you think that praying for them instead of taking them to a fucking doctor is good, then I'm sorry. But you're a damn idiot. You're a motherfucking idiot. You don't deserve to have children. I'm surprised you're able to eat with a fork. And I'm amazed that you know how to breathe. Now, to clarify something, I'm not saying that if you take them to a doctor and nothing can be done, it's not okay to pay for them. No. What I'm saying is, you take them to a doctor first. You get medical treatment first. And these two kids are dead. They are fucking dead. They are ex-people because these two idiots thought that it would be better to pray for them and have taken them to a fucking doctor. Expect more serious videos late in, in the next few weeks because I have decided shit like this needs to be called out where it is. Stuff like this, it requires wrath. And I'll be more than happy to deliver the wrath in this case. Have a great day, everyone. Wrathful line out for now.